Hi, I'm Dana, and today I really want to talk to you about five reasons why I think that you and everyone should be shopping secondhand. It sounds dramatic, but I've been shopping predominantly secondhand for my entire life, and for the last, I want to say, year and a half to two years, I've shopped almost like exclusively secondhand and especially for the last six months that's been my main goal if it's not food or underwear I want it to be secondhand and since I've been doing this for so long I think I've figured out like the pros and cons and there are some cons that might be a different video I don't know if it's something I want to get into but today I wanted to give you like the five best reasons that you should be shopping secondhand my very first one's the most obvious and the main reason that I've been doing it for so long there's a hair in my mouth and that's that it's cheaper it's cheaper than shopping new. It doesn't matter if you're buying furniture or clothes or electronics. It doesn't matter what you're buying. If you buy it secondhand, it's cheaper. Sure, it's already been used, but most of the time it's got just as much life left in it as if you bought it new. Because who really wears things out anymore? Like all the way out? It doesn't really happen. So you're going to get plenty of wear out of something that you've bought secondhand. It's saving you money in multiple ways for that reason. And I'm not talking like a few quid cheaper most of the time. It's a lot cheaper. Like when you look at a brand new couch, they're hundreds of pounds. Like 500 quid kind of thing. We've had multiple, multiple second-hand couches while we've like been living adult lives where we have to buy furniture. And I we have not paid over 50 pounds for a couch. And they've all lasted us multiple years just like any other couch would have if we had bought it new. It's a lot cheaper. Especially for people my age, living outside of your parents' house is madly expensive. I never realised how expensive it was going to be. And seven years after moving out of my parents' house, I'm still surprised at how expensive it can be. So many things just need to be replaced all the time. So like when you need a washing basket, when you need new utensils, when you've broken pretty much all the bowls and plates you own. Things like that are so much cheaper and have saved me so much money by getting them from the charity shop, buying them secondhand, getting them off Facebook Marketplace. Like literally whatever you need to buy, you can buy secondhand for half the price, if not less, of what you'd be paying if you bought it new. Even when it comes to maintenance, like when I've accidentally put like big holes in my walls, I've gotten the putty stuff to fix them from Facebook Marketplace. Like you can buy anything secondhand and it's so much cheaper. Reason number two is that you can find anything. It might take a little while, but you can find anything that you want to find. And for someone like me that likes to wear unique clothes and have unique things around my house, that's a major upside because you can find some of the weirdest stuff. And again, like it's the weirdest stuff for next to nothing, but also you can find literally anything. Like upstairs, I have a pair of pants that I bought from a charity shop for about £2 that still had the brand new price tag on from Pretty Little Thing. Like you can still get those fast fashion items that you want, if that's what you're interested in, from a charity shop. You don't have to be paying Shein or, or Romwe or Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. You can find all of those items a hundred times over. And like I say, it might take a little while. That's the con to this one, I suppose. But you can find anything. And I've found some of the coolest stuff. Like I have one of the 100mm slide projectors. It's sick. It's so cool. And I paid a fiver for it. And fair dues, I'm into old crap. Not everyone is. My mum got a brand new microwave from the charity shop for £10. You know, like it's not all just weird vintage stuff that people like me like. You can find anything. Number three is that you can make sure your money's going to a good course. I don't know how it works in other countries because, let's face it, I'm not that well travelled. But in the UK, the vast majority of our like secondhand shops a charity shops meaning that the money is going to a charity. And yes, there's the kind of like, there's so many issues with where the money actually ends up and if it actually ends up helping anyone or just paying someone's wage. But you're trying. You know that your money, if not going straight to the charity, is paying someone that works for the charity. So, you know, I don't see it as a negative. And when it comes to shopping secondhand in other places, like on eBay or on Facebook, you're, you know, you're passing money through the local economy. You're ensuring that it stays local, you're helping other people out. It's a good time all around. Someone's earning money, you're getting the item that you want. It's a good thing. You know, it's it's really crappy to see places on the high street closing and the big brand shops. But I care much more about small places and individuals. And I'd much rather be giving them money than, you know, I don't know where people buy clothes now. 
I'd rather be giving them money than Primark, you get me? I'd rather my money went to individuals and local businesses than just a Primark. Which brings us to the point that shopping secondhand is way more sustainable. We're already seeing the effects of climate change. It's 30 degrees in the UK right now. I'm wearing a dress and I'm still too hot. Being sustainable is something that we can all make a move towards. And again, it's the corporation's fault. I'm not saying that you right here watching this video can just start shopping secondhand and you're gonna cure climate change. But we can all make a little step. We can all try and help out, in my opinion. So the fact that you're like essentially rescuing clothes, it's way more sustainable. I don't wanna get all into numbers and like the percentages because I can't memorize them. I don't know them off the top of my head. I'll be honest but so much goes to waste that doesn't need to. And the way that those things go to waste continues to damage the environment and be harmful to people around it and the people are having to do it. And it's such a bad time. I'm still learning too. So I'll link some articles that I've read down below. You're not funding fast fashion and brand new outlets. So they won't be making as many clothes if the demand goes down because it's all about supply and demand. So shopping secondhand, you're not funding that. They're gonna stop for, like, creating so many clothes. Shopping secondhand means that the things that don't sell, that normally get sent off to wherever in the world to be burned or used or whatever, they're not going there if you're buying them. You know, it's just a great thing. And the more people that shop secondhand, the less waste that there's gonna be from charity shops and thrift stores and everything else. The more people that shop secondhand, the less we're gonna see, like, things that could still be used just going in the bin or going into skips or whatever else it's such a small thing you can do that has such a positive impact on the whole not just in that like you're getting what you want still but you're getting what you want without it having a negative effect anywhere you know you're not funding boohoo to not pay their workers properly. you're not leaving clothes that are currently in charity shops to go to waste somewhere it all ties together and i think it's all really good and my fifth and final point a bit more simple and that's just that it's fun it might not be for everyone, but when you've got just like a barrel of clothes or shoes or like weird McDonald's toys from the 90s and you get to just dig through it all and find something really awesome and hardly have to pay anything for it, it's a fun time. Like you can go shopping, buy like 500 fucking bags worth of shit, get home, check your bank and be like, oh, I spent like 20 quid. <laughs> Like you can spend the amount you'd spend on one item on the high street on an entire new wardrobe near enough. It's so much fun. You get to dig through so much stuff and just see so much weird stuff and see so much boring stuff and cool stuff and stuff where you're like, oh God, I desperately want this, but I have no idea what I would ever do with it. And it's just a lot of fun. You never know what you're gonna find. And you normally find something weird or brilliant or fantastic. And it, it's fun. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And you know, I keep thinking like not everyone's want, gonna wanna like dig through stuff to find a gem, but whatever you're into, you're gonna find in a charity shop. You know, If you're into clothes, if you're into books, if you're into movies, if you're into ceramics, if you're like mugs, like they have just everything jammed into these little shops and you get to just rummage through and find the best stuff that you want. It's great. Some of my like absolute favorite times have been in charity shops. You can play dress up, you can pull stuff out of the rack to whoever you're with and be like, have you seen this? It's, it's just all a good time. And now we finally reached the end of the video. So too long didn't read, you should shop second. So too long didn't read, you should... So, ugh. so too long didn't read, you should shop second hand. Why can I not say these words? So for the too long didn't read on why you should be shopping second hand, it's cheaper, you can find anything, the money goes to a good course, it's more sustainable for the environment and our planet, and it's a whole lot of fun. Why would you not want to? It's, it's five good reasons for you right there. If you already shop secondhand, I'm not sure why you watched all the way through this video, but thank you. But if you could leave below what your favourite thing is about shopping secondhand and what the best thing you ever found was. My favourite find is still the, the zebra pin stiletto chair that I got. It's everything head over to my instagram to see that so if you if you don't shop secondhand already comment below if this video has convinced you that maybe you should in future i guess i'd love to see that happen i think you should give it a go obviously because i've made this video but in the meantime i hope you have a great day evening morning afternoon wherever you are in time right now and i'm gonna go <laughs> gotta go it's too hot for life 
and I'm gonna go and melt somewhere. So have a great day, afternoon, week, month, year. I'll see you in a few days. My mind's going.